Welcome to Berlin. We're here on tour with Harpen and turn around, dude. What a spectacular view. We're here on tour with the boys. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Had a game of rugby, had an unbelievable social, most importantly. I'm gonna bring you guys along the whole way. Stay tuned, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video, let's go. Brandenburg Gate. Hanging. Hanging. Flat me too way to start your weekend by chopping a pint of water but the best way to start your day come on Deej mate it's time to get up bud rise and shine wakey wakey oh, always start a day with a pint of water it's just a digestive system working Deej wants to hear these facts at this time of the day oh. <laughs> and just like that we are off to the races step one to Berlin complete out the door if you're not up at 3 30 in the morning then like, what are you doing it's a saturday get amongst it you ready Deej? Ah, let's get to berlin step two done parked up about to walk to the station still no sight of the sun oh just walking through town Deej, how are we feeling yeah i feel good now mate up and alive I'm awake ready. at it ready for the day feeling fresh Give it about two hours and we'll definitely crash. But uh, hopefully that's not on the plane. <laughs> All right, Deej, you're a new character on the channel. Just tell us a little something about yourself, mate. What does Deej stand for? And where are you from? Who are you? And give me a fun rugby, rugby fact. <laughs> right, um, Deej is DJ, Daniel James. Rugby nickname, of course. Of course, guilty. I'm from Hemel Hempstead. Humble, humble place, if you know it. Just outside North London. Played for Harpenden. Other Cox. <laughs> Boys. Uh, fun fact. Same club that Owen Farrell, Mara Toje and George Ford played for. So, I think people know that. But... And? Uh, and? Who some, else played there, mate? Some guy. The guy that shoots videos and stuff. This guy. One season. And it was a great season at that. And what a way to finish it. Who got you in, eh? This guy. I wouldn't be at Harps if it wasn't for Deej. Exactly. Uh, I met Deej at Loughborough in pre-season in my first year. We were housing in the same gaff. You're the first person I met, actually. <laughs> I'll meet him. Go way back. <laughs> Too long, man. <laughs> and we have arrived at Harpenden Station. Getting the train to Gatwick. Simple dimple. It's 4.30, if you couldn't see that. We got about... 12 hours till kick off and we're off on the train on the way to Gatwick airport it's gonna hunger down for the night have a little nap I think off the train just arrived at Gatwick happy days Thumbs up now. classic dad move at arriving at the airport at five hours before we need to be here um, all the dads are loving it have you printed your boarding pass <laughs> you can tell we are the bloody athletes yeah. of course taking the stairs no Look escalator for us. Yeah. Over here. Look at the lazy boys over here. Who's going to carry the boat? Who's going to carry the boat? All right, youngest in the group, is it today, Matthew? Definitely is, yeah. Matthew Shaw, tell us a little about yourself, mate, you sack of blow. Uh, yeah, first holiday abroad with the Harpenden group, even just outside of Europe. 
Uh, looking forward to getting the crack in. How yeah. many pints, mate? How many pints are you consuming this weekend? You know what I mean? I reckon I'd top about 15 tonight. Oh. <laughs> my mind, of course, is always on the game. Got a game first, that's where my head's at. The pints come after that. Definitely not about to head for any airport beers now. Oh, we've got it. Got to be done. Oh, almost there. Almost time to fly away to Berlin. Lacey, are we excited, mate? Yeah, very excited. I like Berlin. Simple stuff, simple stuff. <laughs> we have made it. How long later? We got up at what, three? Eight o'clock now, five hours later, a whole school day later, we're here. Happy days, on the flight. Next stop, Berlin. Where are we? We're, we're in Berlin, just landed. We just are now. in Berlin, sunny Berlin. Guten Tag. The glasses will make you think we're in IB, but we're not. We're in Berlin, there's the field through there. Mickey's head's in the way. Matt, how was the flight for you, mate? Uh, yeah, it's had you on my shoulder half of it, but otherwise, I have to give you my phone to play crossroad, keep yourself busy. Don't I you? have, no, have no games on my phone, and I didn't bring my AirPods, so I tried having a nap with these glasses on. It didn't go too well. How was the flight, BC, Truffle Squad, mate? How was it? Yeah, yeah, lovely. Plenty of room widthways for you? Uh, yeah, I did the classic, go for the aisle seat. If you're a triple XL man, you've got to go for that aisle. Love it, Inside mate. Trip. Great strategy, that. Thank you, cheers. Cool. Bit warm. What, a bit warm? Bit warm. Might be too warm. This is a perfect time, mate. Just want to turn around for us, take the cap off. Oh, this is a good time for it. Look <laughs> at that. That is wonderful. Awful, isn't it? How long has that taken you to grow out, mate? Longer than I thought it would because I'm thinning and I'm fucking old. You should push it forwards and it'll cover the front up. <laughs> I've been growing out my mullet as well, so just write in the comments who's got the better mullet, me or Alvin. It's actually a no brainer. Gatekeeping mullets here. Joined by the two blind mice, the only guys with glasses, but I wish I brought them there now. As you can see. Just landed. First thoughts, guys. It is off. We might be too off. Classic. Uh, we, we already heard that one. Uh, actually, <laughs> someone else said that one. It is warm, to say the least. It's definitely Germany. Summer rugby, am I right? Safe to say, we might as well be in Ibiza right now. It is scorching. Yeah. <laughs> DJ's already been to Ibiza once this year. He wants to go back, clearly. It's not a bad second place. Hopefully it cools down by the time kickoff rolls around. <laughs> it's only getting hotter. Andrea. She's Andrea and you can assure she's the best bus driver I've ever had. I really hope you had a pleasant, easy flight. And yeah, the sun is out. Looks really perfect to have a wonderful match. Oh, um, yes. Starting 10 today. Yeah. Any any thoughts of the game going forward? Many tactics for specifically a German side we're coming up against. German sides, uh, I don't really know what to expect because we're on tour. Uh, yeah, international waters, dangerous place. I've never played a German team before. I played a bit of sevens. All I took from sevens was they're quite small, quick, agile, good feet. But I think as we're on tour. I think we've got to be a bit wide as well. I was going to say, mate, that sounds like we're going to the set piece and we're going to boss them up front, but realistically, we're all about Jouet today. Yeah, we've lost our captain as well. Uh, I know, commiserations, George, didn't get let on the plane. We've probably lost about 20 tackles there as well, yeah. maybe 25, and probably a man of the match. We've got to ask to step up now. Yeah, yeah. It's going, be, it's going to be a long day at the office of the team. But, but then stop, Stevie's not starting, so there's other bonuses, you know. We've got to take everything into consideration. Yeah, so, it's a factor, buddy, it's a factor. Yeah, no. Oh, what prediction, mate? Uh, I'm going to go 45, 12 plus. Come on, the heart. Quick pit stop at the food store to pick up some supplies. This is very much needed before this afternoon's activities. It's been, what, it's almost two o'clock now. We've been up for 11 hours already. Tired is a word not in my vocabulary, of course. We don't get tired. With a resident Blitz Bocker. Hey. How are we doing, Brent? How's things, mate? Nah, good, good. Excited. It's uh, nearing 30 degrees. <laughs> But, um, Every comment's been about the weather, it's so <laughs> hot. It's unbelievably hot. Anyone think you're in Spain, mate? Exactly. But um, it's hard for the other guys as well, so. Equal playing field. Fair point. Let's Very go. fair point. Let's go, boys. You excited? Yeah. International ruggers, here we bloody go. Although the conditions are less than ideal, the playing surface 
looks immaculate. I don't know how they've kept it in such good nick. I suppose it must have had some rainfall or something nausea like that. But the pitch looks class, so hopefully some running ruggers have it today. We practice it. If we go into season, we're going to chop them low, we're going to tackle them low. I'm being brutally honest, I'm watching our forwards fucking walk. But yes, it's hot, but it's, if they can fucking run, why can't we run? Right? If they can fucking hold their wits and stand wide, why can't we do it? Do you know what I mean? Like, and if we're going to run off that nine and run off ten, fucking count people in, get the right numbers there. Remember Brendan's line he said on Thursday night? He said, get the fucking ball carries in place quickly and ready to go. Understand? Yeah. Because without that, our game plan falls apart. It's about ball carriers getting over the line, or the threat of ball carriers getting over the line. Without the threat, without us being able to do it, our game plan just is fucking wishy-washy. Yeah. Get the ball carriers in position, dominate the fucking space, and be prepared to go forward. Yeah. Agreed? Matt, Matt said off of what I was going to say before, but I just want to reiterate it. This is a moment in your fucking rugby life, right? Look this is boys. a moment where you've travelled all the way to Germany to play a game in the centre of Berlin against Berlin Rugby Club, okay? This is a game you will remember in 20 years. This is a game you will tell people about, right? How are you going to tell the story? How are you going to remember the story, right? Are you going to look in the fucking mirror and tell the truth and say, I put everything in, we smashed Berlin, go, I put everything into it, I gave everything and we won. Is that the story you want to tell? Yeah. That's yeah. my story, yeah? Let's go and tell that story. Oh, boys. Yeah, oh, boys. three squeezes on me. Two free pass! Two free pass! Two free pass! Game finished, I am hanging. Say to the interim backs coach, how do you think we got on, mate? Played pretty well, played three thirds, first two thirds, very closely fought. Yeah. Harps just ran away with it in the last third. Um, 
It's pretty hot in the touchline. Can't imagine what it was like actually playing out there. You don't want to know, mate. You don't want to know. It was hanging. Honestly, the fit like just like heat exhaustion as well as just being knackered. It was horrible. I thought that we fronted up quite well in that second quarter. We just sort of got a bit tired, I think, and lost a bit of physicality. But otherwise, now we just got, we brought it a win in the end. Happy day, Dave. So cheers, mate. Oh, DT mate, how are we feeling? Broken. I'm a broken man. <laughs> broken in spirit and body, eh? <laughs> Mentally, just tortured after the sun. But the night is young. The night is. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, it is young. Any plans for this evening, mate? How well, many points are you going to get through? Half a shandy or two. Oh, and the rest, mate. And the rest. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> how are we feeling, Benny? <laughs> Eight minutes and the sun's a lot. Or whatever we played. Pretty good, <laughs> but got to win. Love that, mate. Keeping it PC. Love it. Sweet. Thoughts, mate? Pure GA. That's it. GA all day. Oh, game, thankfully, finished. Honestly, I don't know whether it's because it's the first game of the season, pre-season fitness, or whether it was just the heat. It was hard work, to say the least, honestly. There are people in that second half who were <sighs> hanging. I came away with a, a dogged win. Like we keep on talking about how we've gone 14 on the bounce at Harpenden and it's just getting into that habit of winning and you just find a way, you just find a way to win in those close games and it's a skill in itself as a team. So we're happy with that. Personally, happy. Didn't get as many touches as I want, but the pitch, if you didn't already notice from the clips, is very narrow. It's a small pitch, so there's not really much open space to run into. Not that that's my forte anyway, but I'm trying to make it. But contact was good felt light on my feet for the first time in probably three years, thankfully for losing that weight. And that just allowed me to be more dynamic in contact. Like the reason why I put weight on was because I thought it helped me out in, in contact areas, especially in the tackle area. But realistically, it was a bit detrimental because I couldn't be more dynamic. You can see I'm still sweating. Oh my goodness. Um, but I was more dynamic in that contact area, both with the ball and without. Got shotted a couple times just because the pitch is so narrow. And when you move the ball, everyone just slides and shots you. But yeah, end of the day, happy, got the win. Performance was there-ish in places. And it's just a good building block, good foundations moving forwards. And talking about moving forwards, we are on into the night of Berlin. A lot of unvloggable content for you guys. So this is me signing off. Oh, so sweet. We are back with the resident sapper. Let's go. Day two of Berlin. Bren, how are we doing? That's tough, you know. We we had our post-match festivities mm. yesterday. Mm. And now we're just exploring, you know, a bit of tourism. We are tourists. Safe to say, without without saying, we are here for the culture, as you can see behind us. The Brandenburg Gate. The Brandenburg Gate. Let's go. <laughs> we're here for a good time and a long time, because clearly people are taking their sweet time getting to the restaurant. We're booked in somewhere, but we're already late. We're keen for food, me and Bren. We've got to put those kilos for the rest of the season. Give me a lamb shank. That's a crack, eh? Let's we're go. here. Leave around lamb shakes. 